country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Northwestern Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Buckeyes will put total leather and will get started. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Northwestern's offense takes the field to start this game off. And all eyes on this man as he takes the field. The defense knows they're going to try to throw in the football, and it probably won't matter, guys. Oh, but the defense, Reese, will be locked in. He will see double coverage. They will know where he's at on every single snap, Jesse, or else you will get beat quick, fast, and in a hurry. He's one of the few receivers in the country, guys, where if it's man coverage, he's open, zone coverage, he's open. If he's double coverage, he's open. Throw that guy the ball. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. Caught behind the line. It's Porter. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese. They can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Now they'll run the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, you got to be careful when you're running the draw play because you're hoping those defensive ends get way up the field, thinking it's passed. Didn't happen that time, and the defense was able to get a negative play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And that pass picked off. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. All right, I know it's early, but it's just one drive, right? You got, you got to put this behind you. It isn't how you wanted to open up. It isn't how you wanted to start. This offense has got to go to the sidelines, get with the coach, settle down, and figure out the game plan for the rest of the game. Looking for a productive play on first down. He's got it on the right. At the 35, he's open. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. This guy makes it look easy, just like a lot of recent Ohio State quarterbacks have. Man, you can set your watch by these guys. I mean, whether it's C.J. Stroud, Justin Fields, I mean, we can keep going back year after year. They always got a really good signal caller that you can really depend on to make big plays. Back to throw, it's Howard. Pocket starts to collapse. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. Off the play fake. Throws toward the end zone. What a grab by the defense. Really early in this game, you're seeing the ball hawks on both sides of the ball. Interception on the first drive of the game, and now they come out, and this defense gets a pick in return. There are a lot of dudes in the back end with speed, with the ability to close. What a phenomenal play by that young man just now to get the ball back to his offense. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. The Wildcats want to crank the tempo. Holds and fires complete to the right. 
He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You got to get him involved. They'll snap this one from the 30 on first and 10. He's going to pass. He finds his man. At the 40, there he goes. Oh, look out. He's got the sideline going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. The entire complexion of this possession changed on that one play. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 20. They'll throw it from the red zone. Unloads to the wideout. On target over the middle. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Well, they execute the in route, and how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. This defense might be reeling after those last two and now facing first and goal. They want to just keep throwing it. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. It's just a tremendous effort on defense, understanding the situation, right? Offense has the ball in a goal-to-go situation. Someone's got to win and go get the quarterback, and the defense came up big. Defense rose up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. And he was going for the touchdown there, and they couldn't make the connection. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. From inside the 10, here he comes. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. He'll pull it on the read. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking for a man. It's Howard. Caught. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I don't know if that's the coverage you want to be throwing wide receiver screens against. Oftentimes, you want the receivers to have some access. You want the DBs to be off a couple yards so you can help set up the blocks and give the receiver somewhere to go with it. It's hard to run that against press coverage, and they only picked up a few yards there. On third down, he drops the throw. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression.
looking for a physical attack from the gun. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Got three on first down at second and seven. Here's the handoff. They make the stop at the 37, but not before he's got 10 yards and the first down. As they unpack the pile, it's part of Ohio State's DNA to have a lethal running game. And this is a trend, Reese. We can go back as long as you want to go back, and we can go back a couple years to J.K. Dobbins, and we can go all the way back to Eddie George. They always find great running backs at Ohio State. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. Now they're going to throw it. Grab behind the line. It's Tate. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a win. This is the type of play that decides games. Are you tough enough to convert third and short from the 30? Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one. But we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously, the politically correct answer. But you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Guys, we've come to the end of the period, and Northwestern has the lead here. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. The Buckeyes have taken it inside the 20. They'll try to get the edge with the toss play here. Sweet cut there. And he'll race it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State. An impressive, long, methodical, meticulous drive ends in points. They just matriculated the ball down the field, didn't they, Reese? So impressive. Didn't see a lot of explosive plays. But how about the execution? Running and throwing the football. Wow. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. They marched 72 yards, and they finished it with a beautiful 15-yard run for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. The Wildcats have it back. The Northwestern offense headed out. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. It seems like on every snap, he is right in the quarterback's grill. Second sack of the day. And maybe Joey Bosa and Chase Young and Vernon Golston Better watch out. There could be a new single-season sack record at some point. And when you mention those guys, the, when you watch the game, they always had their imprint on the game. They always dominated football games, and this guy is dominating the football game, single-handedly making that quarterback have to think, where is that guy? We better block him because he keeps hitting. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. 
I tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Wide out in motion. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. It's complete to the right. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. you got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Northwestern wants to go quickly. Going up top on first down. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. The gift to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own and unfortunately ended up losing yards. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes the catch, and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. They'll leave it with the lone back. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. From the gun, the ground game. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Scanning the field, it's Howard. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. They'll line up for a second down play. <laughs> Off the RPO complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Well, you know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs? It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. And the Buckeyes are moving quickly down the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TF out. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. 
Hits him with a stiff arm. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. That's a really nice throw. And you think about being the starting quarterback at the Ohio State University with all the great players they've had here recently, what this offense expects from you. This is explosive passing attack. You've seen that now in recent years. They push the ball vertically down the field. This guy has the skill set. That's why he's out there on the field right now. He allows this offense to really go, and he's playing at a high level. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. Getting some heat. Wiggles free. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Looking to pass. It's Howard. Going for it all. Touchdown, Buckeyes! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. That is what we call in the industry a defensive breakdown. That guy was loose for the big play. Uh, busted coverage, uh, really, really bad execution. Somebody slips, somebody falls. Nothing about that defensively is something you're looking for, but the offense will take it and, and get the easy touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. They'll run the screen. Well, a nice gainer on that running back screen. Now, how about the offensive line getting downfield and getting blocks to really help out the back, find some space to go to work? Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. They want to throw it. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Northwestern will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. This has been an impressive first half, and Jesse, they'd love nothing better than to tack another one on before the break. And why would they want to stop at this point? Everything they've dialed up, they've been able to execute throwing and running the football game. And how critical is it for this defense to get a stop down right now before the half? They can create some momentum on their side by getting a stop before the half. 
Quarterback empties his backfield. Wants to throw. It's Howard. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Precision, execution, and timing to pick up the first down on the out route. I think you're spot on. Th those out routes, man, it's got to be about. And it looks as if they've buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Incomplete. And man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Now the play fake. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Ohio State! And a really nice job understanding I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for him, and he catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Wildcats have it back. The Northwestern offense headed out. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up, catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points? The incompletion leads to second and ten. Off play action. Gets it out quickly. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle. It's great. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Northwestern comes to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete. Finally brought down at the 31. It's a pickup of 15 yards on the play, and they've got a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He wants to throw. Got his man quickly. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Sixth play of the drive coming up. On second down, looking again to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This defense has a lot of speed, especially in the secondary, and you saw that speed. That defender got to that receiver so quick, and because of the hit, incomplete pass. 
Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Shotgun snap on third down. Snagged in the middle. It's Gray. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. They'll try to put three on the board as the field goal unit comes on. It is perfect. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He'll be brought down and that's the final play of the half. That's going to wrap up the first half here and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. All right, guys, looks like we've got a great environment there today in Evanston. It's been a fun start to this one. And this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. A combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Ryan Field. Northwestern will kick it off as we start the third quarter. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, and I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. The Buckeyes are in the hurry up. Looking to move it through the air. Just led him a little too far across the sidelines. Makes the catch, but it's incomplete. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just... I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And listen, he sailed and he overthrew it, but I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit better. There. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. Out of the gun to give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. To the air, it's Howard. A little screen to the running back. Listen, I know this running back is shifty. I know he's really good in the open field, but that's just asking too much of him at this point. Third and long situation. He wasn't going to be able to make that extra guy miss uh, trying to get that first one. The Buckeyes will call on their punt team. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10, and they're going to mark it right around the five-yard line. What a great job there. And wings it incomplete. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Now on second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. 
makes the grab over the middle. And there might have been trouble if they hadn't gotten to him immediately. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking to throw on third. Lofts one high and deep. And is knocked away and incomplete the defensive back, staying in phase and batting it away. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead, Palmer. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air, it's Howard. He's got his man. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. How aggressive might this play call be on third and short from the 46? They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And the Buckeyes get enough to move the chains. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. He'll keep it himself. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. On second down, he'll fire. With the catch, it's Tate. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Off play action on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown to the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. After the incompletion, let's see if they go back to the air on second and 10 from the 33. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And that's a great job by the defense not letting that bird out of the cage. When you can run like this guy can, you've got to keep the edge. Did a great job. He went backwards, retreated, gave up some ground. They didn't give up the outside. Got the sack on the play. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Got it inside the 10. Touchdown, Buckeyes. And the route is on. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch.
Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, the score is 28 to 6. An impressive 66 yard touchdown drive. And they finish things off with a 44 yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Northwestern offense returns to the field. The inside handoff. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Trying play action. Caught in the backfield, it's Porter. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Now, on offense, you're trying to get your running back involved here in the passing game, and obviously no success on that play. Defense seemed like they were aware of it, and all of a sudden, you've set yourself up in a tough position here on third. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You got to have real loose hips. You got to be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. Northwestern will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You've put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills, and they've got it at the receiver position. So if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to pass, it's Howard. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Finds his tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. Small gain, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. And off from the shotgun. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. How aggressive might this play call be on third and short from the 46? They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. The Buckeyes are on the move. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. 
That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Looking to throw a tower. Makes his connection. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. I'm a little bit surprised they're still throwing the football here this late in the game with this kind of lead. They're on first down, taking a shot, falls incomplete, but obviously they're still seeing matchups that they want to take advantage of in the back end of this defense, so they're letting it fly. He'll try it again on second and ten. Got it in the middle. It's Scott. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tag. Wide receiver shows motion. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Quickly complete. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. And the Buckeyes trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. You've got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. A great job in the base defense making a play. Touchdown, Ohio State! And the pummeling has started. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Finds his man in the middle. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game, but trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Oh, he should have had that one right in his hands, and he couldn't hang on. Typically, he makes that play. It'll be second down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. you got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Up near the 40-yard line, they'll mark it at the 39, a pickup of 15. 
That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. He wants to throw it again. Trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback. And down he goes. Yeah, and this defense, they got their ears pinned back. They know exactly what time it is with the big lead in the fourth quarter. They've already got a bunch of sacks on the day today, and they're looking for more. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. They're trying to get to him. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long. Under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. On fourth down, going to the air. Hines is man enough for the first. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Oh, and he finds his slot receiver on that fourth down throw. And I'll tell you, this guy is not the biggest receiver in college football, but he does such a good job working the middle of the field. He's just able to get open and read coverage. Every quarterback loves having a slot receiver like that. They'll throw it on first down. Ball in the air, intercepted! Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Right back to the well. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. The clock is my friend. If I can do this late in the ball game with a lead and I can continue to run the football and they have no answers, well, then I'm going to walk away with a win. So, listen, I wouldn't change a thing. I'd keep pounding the football, keep running the clock. From the 47-yard line on first and 10. On the ground, it's Judkins. Carrying the ball with attitude down to the 42. Defense, man, you got to go low and you got to chop that tree down, right? Go with the legs, take the legs out from underneath them so he can't continue to churn those puppies out and get extra yards after contact like he did there. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And, David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still, you cannot stop it? There's nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Get 
out of the shotgun. They go to the ground. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. The Buckeyes have it with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They've got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Going to the running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that seemed a little off from the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off from the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Fast motion from the offense. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And tight coverage right there, but he makes the grab, and they've got it on the 11 and a red zone chance. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. It's first down from the 11. Using his legs, it's Judkins. And they get him on the ground, and that's going to do it. Ball game is over. 